What's going on guys, Matt over here with Lethal Camaro and today I'm going down to Cunningham Motorsports to pick up my car. So if you guys saw the video I uploaded last, it was basically dyno tuned and first startup. Now it's fully tuned street and dyno. It's all dialed in so now I get to go down, pay them some money, pick up the car and do some first drive impressions. Let's go ahead and do it right now. Okay guys, so I have a few extra parts, just a couple, shave some weight, you know, it's all good. But everybody wants to hear, what What does this bad boy sound like? Remote start, let's see. Pop the hood and it killed it. Fail. There's a new trick. I didn't know that was a thing. If you pop your hood while it's remote started, it will die. Charger. Good. So there you have it guys. The car's pro charged. I think the only thing left now, let's go drive it for the first time. Let's do it. Oh man. We are in the car. Hold on, situating some paperwork. So here we go guys, I'm in the car. This is literally the first drive. I have not touched anything outside of just starting the car. So, I think I'm gonna drive in auto mode first to see how it goes. But here we go. Let's see how this bad boy feels. <laughs> oh man, this is so crazy. Let's say for first impression foot on the gas pedal doesn't really feel any different um, I mean this is just baby steps right now my seats all hold on I gotta readjust my seat whoever sat in here last made some adjustments I mean I tell you the truth that it, it feels very much the same at low speeds right now I mean, just getting up to 40 miles an hour there. I mean, but keep in mind the, the power, based on that power tree, it really comes in about 3000 RPM range. So I could drop gear. Now I'm in. Oh, 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 you can hear it spin up. Oh God, all the new noises I gotta get used to. right there it was 80 miles an hour oh this is like a whole new feeling and the sound from the hood I don't know if you guys could hear that right now it's like it's like a it's like a whoosh noise like you could just hear the pressure building up oh this is amazing I should go down some back roads it's just there's a BMW in front of me right now totally killing it <laughs> Dude! Okay. 
gassing it right there. R triple eights, traction for days. No tire spin whatsoever right there. <laughs> oh, I'm heading into traffic right now. This sucks. So if you guys are just joining Lethal Live, I'm recording live my first impressions. I just got my car supercharged, so it's cammed, it's got full bolt-on stainless steel, um, or stainless steel, stainless works, full exhaust, long tube headers. Um, it's got a Pro Charger P1 system at eight pounds of boost with a 3.7 pulley. <laughs> oh, I wish there was no traffic. Okay, I'm going back. I'm going back to some hidden roads real quick because we're gonna see what this is all about. There's some areas back over here in Business Park. It's still kind of early, it's four o'clock, so there's people getting off work right now. Um, might be a little difficult to get. I don't wanna say I'm gonna do high speed runs, but I would like to see what she could do outside of like a 200 foot, you know, smash on the throttle. Dude, it's not, it sounds like I have an air conditioner on my car. Like, you know, like when you turn your AC on really high and the air is just like flying through the vents. Uh oh, there's a Mustang. Oh, just broke his neck. <laughs> yeah, there's a million and a half cars out here. Yeah, it might be tough to do any. Ah, it's kind of open road. Here we go. driven a car this fast before ever I've driven some fast cars that was zero to a hundred right there <laughs> holy crap what have I done <laughs> oh I'm gonna get in trouble I am gonna get in a lot of trouble I'm gonna get in trouble. Guys, this is ridiculous. Windows down. Oh, come on, car. What are you waiting on? Oh, he's waiting on me. <laughs> I'm sitting in the upper RPM range. You can hear the blow off valve. You can hear it right now. I don't know if you, if you guys could hear that, let me know in chat. Oh, Mustang. Oh, and he just broke his neck. <laughs> Should we go cat? Oh, he's turning. Come on, Mustang. I need to find a casualty of war. <laughs> oh, I'm not. I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble. Look at my hair. It's like popping out of my hat. Hey, I'm gonna pull over. We're gonna do some lethal QA with the Pro Charger. Um, I, that, yeah, that, that was intense. So, we're at 615 to the tires right now, horsepower wise. Keep in mind that's on the Cunningham Motorsports dyno. So my car stock um, showed up as 388 on their dyno, um, but as it sits now, it's uh, 615. The smile on your face says it all. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> <laughs> the rev. Listen to this. Oh, 
Oh, dude. He took my rev limiter off. Oh, I'm gonna, dude, destroy people at rev con contests now. Are you insane? Oh my goodness. This is, uh... <laughs> I didn't know. Ryan, what did you do? I love you. Ryan, Cunningham Motorsports. Guys, if, like no joke. So I did my research on what shops I wanted to work with, who I wanted to work with. I checked out a whole bunch of shops. I read a lot of reviews from people who had their cars done at different shops. And when it all came down to it, Cunningham Motorsports just rose to the top. They were like the cream. And so I went down and I talked with them quite a few times about my build, um, what I wanted. They walked me through what I should do, what I shouldn't do. You know, I do still daily drive my car. So um, there's there was a lot of considerations I had to make. That was one of the big reasons why I went with the Pro Charger because it very much drives like a normal car um, under just normal driving conditions. And I'll tell you what, the service, the, the craftsmanship and just the quality of work Cunningham Motorsports delivered on this build. I, I mean, I might sound like a broken marketing record here. They're not paying me to say this. I paid for all my parts here. Um, they did a t a t an outstanding job and the car runs great. And not only that, they tune cars so they don't break. Like my car should last a while as long as I don't drive like a complete idiot. So, oh my gosh. How much HP? 615 rear wheel horsepower as measured on the Cunningham Motorsports dyno, which is a Mustang load dyno. So I'm, I've am i gone with my car just cammed. I did go to a dyno jet and my car was like at 466 with E85 on the Cunningham Motorsports dyno. My same car measured at 515 on a dyno jet. So if you take just those numbers and scale them accordingly, I'm sure on a dyno jet, I'd be in the 650 range. How much did it all cost? So the cam was five grand. Um, the Pro Charger setup with tune um, and install was just shy of nine grand, and then the exhaust with the long tube headers sits just shy of three thousand five hundred. Now, keep in mind, all the parts that I purchased for my car, you can get now at a cheaper price than what I paid. Um, a lot of sites are giving deals and offers. How do you afford all this? I spent seven years saving all my money. That's that's how. And thank you to the little bit of money that is recuperated from YouTube, some of the money from selling hats and Lethal Camaro shirts. Uh, but keep in mind, most of the money that I've made off Lethal Camaro merchandise has gone towards my son. As some of you guys may know, my son has a blood disorder. Um, I started selling decals um, where all the profits from those go went to my son. Um, and even more so, as the bills have come in, I've pulled from whatever money was in the PayPal account to pay for that. And I will just say, and I don't want to make this a sob story about my son because everyone has their struggles in their own life and families. Um, because of the Lethal Camaro community, you guys have made it to where I can keep my car. I could do the mods that I had planned for it. Um, or do you, I'm, I'm at the point now where I have no more money. So if I'm going to do anything else, I have to save dollars to make it happen. Um, but it's all because of you guys. I've been able to continue on my path because uh, as of the beginning of 2017, the sales of decal shirts and hats have paid for all my son's doc medical bills. Um, you guys have been amazing. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's let's do some more driving because I don't want to just sit here and I think most people are just asking how much power, but I think most people just want to hear it and how it sounds. Let's, uh, let's, I'm actually afraid to turn off some of the natties based upon how much power this thing has. I'm just not used to it. I'm pretty sure I'll go sideways in a heartbeat. Should I try some, it's like shift denying me. I have to find where all my new shift points are. Okay, manual mode. Let's do a stop, full stop. Let's do a competitive mode. There we go. I know I'm not looking at the road right this moment, but there's no one in front of me. 
Vehicle must be stopped for zero to 60. Okay, let's see what happens here. <laughs> Lethal smiles. Lethal smiles for days right now, dude. No. Second gear pull. Oh, I didn't rev it out, but... Yeah, no. 4.6? Nope. My tires are just melting right now. I'm li like, I'm spinning tires. Where do I even begin, guys? I, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> what, what, it, what this car has turned into is like what I've been dreaming of for so long. Like, it rides still so good around the city. Um, and when you tromp on it and you hit that 3,000 RPM range. She just pulls, and she doesn't want to stop pulling. Uh, it's it's amazing. It feels really good. Uh, I, I don't want to do too deep of a dive. I mean, again, this is just first impressions, so I very much need to drive the car and find out all the quirks, find out where my shift points are, what she loves, what she doesn't love. I got to do an overview of my Aeroforce gauge setup. Just so much stuff to dive into here. So, uh, yeah, either or, I appreciate uh, you guys joining me for this video. If you guys are interested in more Camaro content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Likes, comments, shares are always appreciated if not. Uh, but until next time, guys, I'll see you on the road.